Howdy folks, welcome to the Burning Eyes Tech Channel and welcome to the Microsoft MS900 course which is also known as the Microsoft 365 Fundamentals course. The previous name for this course used to be Office 365 Fundamentals but that has since been changed by Microsoft to the new one you see here. Now this first video of the course is just a course introduction which explains the short length of this video the actual course content itself will be in the next video after this one. Alrighty folks, the official MS900 Microsoft 365 Fundamentals course is a one day course for those that don't know. Usually it takes about four hours more or less to cover all the theory in the course. So the video after this with the full course will be about give or take four hours long just so you know what you're in for. The official course consists of four modules and all four of those modules will be covered in the video with some practical demonstrations in between. I will be uploading a third video in this playlist as well, which you can think of as a bonus video. This third video will be purely just to practice for the exam associated to this course. So if you don't intend on writing the exam, you can skip that third video folks. The third video will have practice questions in it where I explain each question with the possible answers listed and then I eventually also show what the answers are once I've obviously covered them and explained them. Anyway folks, getting back to the main course video, with that video being so long and containing so much content, a list of most of the main topics covered in the course will be listed in the video description with timestamps next to each of them for your convenience. This should hopefully make it a lot easier and a lot quicker for you to find certain topics if you just like to refresh on those specific topics or if you're just looking for something specific in general. In the video description, there will also be two trial links for 365. The reason I'm putting those in there is if anyone would like to try this stuff out for themselves, obviously. And then also because normally if you go and create yourself a normal 365 trial, it requires a life ID from you as well as a bank card, like a credit card in most cases. This is just to prove you're a human being and not a robot. Now, if you use my two trial links, you just need to use one of them. You don't have to use both of them. If you use one of my trial links, it will not ask you for a bank card of any kind. Instead, it'll just require a life ID. Now, regarding the life ID, you can just go and create yourself a brand spanking new one, a fake one at www.life.com. You can give it a fake name, fake last name, fake everything. This will be just for the purposes of the trial and for the course if you'd like to try it out yourself. It's going to give you 30 days, it's going to give you 25 licenses. What kind of licenses will depend on which one of the two links you use. Okay, and then folks, with regards to the course audience, who is this course actually intended for? This video course I made is intended for the following. Firstly, it's intended for people intending on writing the Microsoft International MS900 certification exam. Secondly, it's intended for people looking to learn what Microsoft 365, Office 365, and the cloud is in general, as well as everything there is to learn about them. Lastly, the course is intended for people that are just trying to troubleshoot a 365 related issue Obviously this course can be used for much more than what I just listed here, but that are some of the main audience people I had in mind when I made these videos, of course. Alrighty, once again, folks, welcome to the Burning Ice Tech channel where I do free IT training on all kinds of courses from various IT vendors. If you'd like to follow one of my many courses or if you just want to know when I release other new courses, remember to subscribe. Okay, folks, hope to see you on this Microsoft MS900 course. Enjoy, happy learning, and best of luck with your exams if you need to go and write. If you love me, let me know. If you don't, then let me know.